14, 1947, a new nation was born. We must remember that we have to take momentous decisions and handle grave issues facing us in the solution of the complex political problem of this great subcontinent inhabited by 400 million people. The partition of the subcontinent in 1947 not only created two independent countries, Pakistan and India, but also provided an opportunity to the Hindu-Muslim majority princely state to annex with any of the new state as independent entity. Kabulpur was considered the second largest and rich state of the subcontinent after Hyderabad Deccan. The Nawab of Bhawalpur at that time was the first state ruler that chose to join Pakistan unconditionally on 3rd October 1947. Bhawalpur was established as first state capital somewhere in 1720s by Nawab Amir Bhawal Khan Abbasi I. This state was a gift to the Abbasis who migrated from Baghdad and Egypt by Nawab of Multan, Hayatullah Tareen on recommendations of Gilani and Bukhari peers of Ud Sharif. In 1833, Nawab Amir Bhawal Khan Abbasi III signed a treaty with British rulers for reinforcing it as princely state. The ruler was awarded 17 cannon salute and special access to viceroys of British India. The state later became one of the richest welfare riyasat ruled by 12 different Abbasi clan Nawabs for over 220 years. The presence of various historical palaces and buildings with its unique architecture legacy and rich culture still makes Pavalpur as a princely state alive. The Abbasi rulers were very kind, generous and loyal. Out of 12, four of them were known to be more generous to the people of the state. Those were Nawab Pawal Khan II, Nawab Sadiq IV, also known as Subha Sadiq, Nawab Pawal Khan IV, who custom made their Bar Mahal in 1904 for one of his wives, originally conceived as the Pawal Gur, the fort was completed in 1905. After the sudden death of Nawab Pahal Khan IV, Nawab Sadiq Muhammad Khan V, born on 29 September 1904 at Dalat Khana Palace, ascended the throne in 1907 at the age of three. But due to his young age, a consul of regency was established in the state on his mother's request to the British. 
till he was conferred the absolute authority on March 8, 1924. On the Coronation Darbar at Delhi of King George VI, Amir of Pavalpur was on the top of the list of 600 state rulers invited to attend the function. Nawab Sadiq Muhammad Khan V performed a number of public welfare-oriented services. He especially designed a plan for the development of Bahawalpur city. During his rule, several buildings were constructed including Bahawalpur Islamia University campus, the historic Sadiq Egerton College, Sadiq Public School, and majestic Bahawalpur Central Library that served the educational needs of the natives, while the state principal medical facility was built as Bahawalpur Victoria Hospital. The Nawab, by realizing importance of roads and rail transportation as enabler of progress and prosperity, adding hundreds of kilometers of rainforest roads and tracks in the state. Empress Railway Bridge on the River Sutlej was built in the late 19th century. It carried a railway line and a cart fort flanked by a footpath. In 1930, Nawab Sir Siddiq ordered for the conversion of the bridge into dual carriageway. During his reign, the elegant Noor Mahal was maintained as a state guest house. The majestic Siddiq Mahal served as a state secretary, whereas Talat Khana Mahal accommodated the royal family. The historical achievement of his period also including launching of Sutlej Valley project in 1932 till 1933. Under this project, headworks were built at three different places and canals were built for irrigation of 1.5 million acres of land in Cholistan. Nawab Sadiq V proved himself as an administrator with capacity to rule the people of the state with objectives. He was of the opinion that if the people of the state are given basic necessities and justice, the state will flourish more and more and will be considered as a true welfare state. Till its merger as one state with Pakistan in 1955, Nawab Sadiq remained concerned with the problems and well-being of the people. Nawab Sadiq paid special attention to the educational needs of both boys and girls. After inception of Pakistan, the state of Bhavalpur contributed 72 million rupees as financial assistance and salaries of government officials were also drawn from its treasury, alongside 22,000 tons of wheat. He also gifted aircraft to the national airline. Earnestly acknowledging the valuable contributions, the Kaid said, We are thankful to the state of Bhavalpur and Nawab Sadiq Muhammad Khan Abbasi for providing Pakistan with money to run the state affairs, even providing ink for our pens. In 1959, President Ayub Khan visited Sadiq Gar Palace and awarded Nawab Sir Sadiq with the highest civil award of Pakistan the order of the Nishani Kaide Azam. On 24th May 1966, Nawab Sir Sadiq died in London at 61 years of age. The national flag was lowered half-mast. At the Rover 6, bugglers of Pakistan Army sounded the last post. Artillery batteries of Pakistan Army, coordinated by radio, fired a 17-gun salute simultaneously from Rawalpindi and the Ravar. Though he departed for his final abode, but he still lives in the hearts of the nation. He has left the legacy of sacrifice, prestige and national building. <laughs> 